Hello everyone and welcome back to the perfect Fallout 4 playthrough. In the last episode we pushed our base special stats to the max and now it's time to take it to the extreme. I have over 1000 hours played in this game and I still learn new stuff all the time. I found out from my awesome Discord community that at 21 endurance you can permanently sprint without losing any action points. Now this is usually only accomplishable by using chems, but I decided to see if I could permanently get to 21 endurance. In the last episode we got our base endurance to 12 through some pretty shady means, uh, so that's our starting point. We can give ourselves an additional endurance point from the vault Workshop exclusive Power Cycle 1000. This requires dipping our toes in the DLC content a bit, but that brings us to 13. This means that we need to pick up 8 points from clothing and armor. For starters, the Sea Captain's Hat gives plus 2 to endurance, so this is by far the best choice, bringing us to 15. There is no eyewear which adds to endurance other than the unobtainable Gage's eye patch, so I'll just stick with sunglasses. The fortifying legendary effect gives plus one to strength and to endurance, which meant I needed to farm all five pieces of the fortifying armor using my legendary farming shenanigans. This was the only really tedious part of the process, but this brought me all the way up to 20. For clothing, we have two choices. The torn shirt and jeans from Nuka World gives plus two to endurance. However, they are not eligible for ballistic underweave. Since we only need one more endurance, the better option is the plus one endurance and charisma from the green shirt and combat boots, which are also able to be modded with ballistic underweave. If you were only able to get to 11 base endurance with the bobblehead, then you'll have to use the torn shirt and jeans instead. And with that, I reach 21 Endurance without any chems, and this is really cool. When I'm sprinting, the Action Points bar doesn't even appear because it stays maxed. Additionally, Rank 3 of the Strong Back perk usually allows you to run while over-encumbered at the cost of Action Points, but at 21 Endurance, we don't even lose Action Points when we're running over-encumbered. It's a really weird feeling not worrying about action points when moving, and it's definitely one of the coolest things I've ever accomplished in my Fallout 4 gameplay. All of that being said, I usually swap out the fortifying legs for the sprinter's legs instead, giving myself a 20% run speed boost. Even dropping down to 19 endurance, I barely lose any action points when I'm sprinting. And I also keep free fall legs in my inventory handy just in case I need to jump off of something without hurting myself. As for my progress in the game itself, I've just been pushing through the story and through side quests. Most of these decisions are personal and I don't think they really contribute to a perfect playthrough. However, when it's time to make irreversible decisions regarding the main story, I will make a video explaining which options I think are the best. Again, I want to thank my Discord community for letting me know about the infinite sprint endurance threshold. I'd love if more people would join the awesome community, it's a great place to interact with me and a lot of other knowledgeable Fallout 4 players. Check out the Discord link in the description below to join, and be sure to like and subscribe to follow this perfect Fallout 4 playthrough journey. Thank you all again, and remember to survive in the wasteland, you gotta be efficient.